Hello everyone, I am starting a video series to guide Central Drug Inspector exam preparation. There was a notification in October 2022 and for that exam is going to be conducted in August 19th. Not only that, at this year end there is going to be another Central Drug Inspector notification. Syllabus is same, so these videos will be helpful for the exam preparation. Stay tuned to my channel. Now let us see the syllabus given for Central Drug Inspector post. The first unit says basic knowledge in pharmaceutical chemistry chemistry of drugs, their uses, pharmacological and toxicological effects of the drugs. Now, in case of chemistry, what is required is there are three important aspects are there. Structure, structure activity relationship and synthesis. Let us take a drug as an example and see the structure and structure activity relationship. Now, we'll see about norepinephrine. Norepinephrine is also known as noradrenaline. It is a biogenic amine. That means it is synthesized in human, uh, human brain and it is an amine hence it is called as biogenic amine now it is a neurotransmitter neurotransmitter means a molecule which is synthesized in neurons and it transmit the information from one neuron to another neuron or from one neuron to another peripheral organs this is about neurotransmitter now chemically norepinephrine is a catecholamine uh, class drug catecholamine means catechol means benzene 1 2 diol on a benzene ring at 1 and 2 position, 2 hydroxy groups are there. So IUPAC wise, it is known as benzene 1, 2 diol. A trivial name is catechol. In the side chain, if there is an amine functional group, it is known as catechol amine. So norepinephrine belongs to catechol amine class. Understand this. See, you don't need to memorize the entire structure of all the drugs. The exam is multiple choice uh, question uh, exam. You have options there. What is important is for every drug, you need to identify the important functional groups. If at all any heterocyclic ring is there, you need to understand or identify what is the uh, heterocyclic ring is. In case of norepinephrine, you need, to, you need to identify that it belongs to catecholamine class. Now let us see the IUPAC name. Look at the structure. See, on the structure to the catechol moiety, it has got two carbons are attached, ethane. On these carbons, an amine and hydroxy groups are attached. Now IUPAC wise, amine should be named first. Why? Alphabetically it comes first. So when you give the name, it, it comes out as 2 amino, 1 hydroxy ethyl, benzene 1 2 diol. It is very simple. Just understand that. So this is IUPAC name. Now in order to understand structure activity relationship, we need to compare at least two or three drugs of the same class. Let us analyze three of the drugs, norepinephrine, epinephrine, isoprenaline, which is also known as isoproterenol. When you see the structures, norepinephrine, there is a difference only at amine end. In norepinephrine, at the amine, you have only hydrogens are attached. In case of epinephrine, to the amine, a methyl group is attached. In case of isoprenaline, to the amine, a isopropyl group is attached. Isopropyl group is attached. Now, when you see the differences, the carbon number is getting increased at the amine. Now, the effect is, you when you see norepinephrine, it has got more alpha receptor activity than beta. Alpha activity is high. In fact, it, it is effective against alpha 1, alpha 2 and beta 1. There is no beta 2 action. When you see epinephrine, alpha 1, alpha 2, beta 1 and beta 2 activity is also there. When you see isoprenaline, it is effective against only beta 1 and beta 2. Now, what do you understand by this? By increasing the carbon chain at amine end, beta activity is increasing. This is what is structure activity relationship is. You have changed the structure by attaching carbon groups and the activity is changed. This is so simple. So try to understand this for any class of the drugs, pick two or three drugs and identify the differences. That is what becomes structure activity relationship. So read like this for, for any chemical, any chemistry thing for the drugs, read like this. And coming to the pharmacological uses, norepinephrine is used to treat shock. What is shock? Decreased perfusion to organs or decreased blood supply to organs is known as shock. In shock, there is a tremendous drop of blood pressure, low BP is there. To treat that, norepinephrine is given. What it does? It causes vasoconstriction, blood pressure is increased. Especially it is used to treat septic shock. What could be the tox what could be the toxicological effects or adverse effect? Because it is causing vasoconstriction, it may rapidly increase hypertension. So it may precipitate hypertensive crisis. So this is what they want. See, look at the syllabus. They are looking for these things. Chemistry, pharmacological effects, toxicological effects. In chemistry, structure, structure-active relationship, 
and synthesis. This is enough. I hope this is useful. All the best.